Hey Cancer Collective, what's up y'all? Welcome to the channel, welcome back. If you've been here before, thank you so much for joining me or joining me again. I hope you all are doing amazing. Let's pull some cards for you, whatever you need to hear. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Flip the rose if you need to. It could be past, present, future energy or someone else around you I'm picking up on. So let's see, what does the Cancer Collective most need to hear? We have addiction, it fell in reverse and I'm gonna take it that way. Toxic attachment, drugs, alcohol, and obsession. Some of you could be healing from an addiction. You could be cutting off someone that you felt codependent on. You're getting over them. Or maybe this person has addictions. We have text message, communication, news, phone call, direct message. Somebody could be cleaning up their life. This may not be you. This could be someone else who's trying to get over an addiction. Could be about to reach out to you. Somebody finally getting some help. Or it could be you. We have isolation and lonely. There's a tendency to push people away by isolating yourself from uncomfortable situations. Look into new ways to break down the walls to create better ways to connect with others. Don't keep your light to yourself. Open up to share it. So some of you may be feeling isolated right now or maybe you're dealing with someone who's like this. Could be a Virgo. And then we have ex-lover. Yeah, for some of you, this is an ex-lover. Memories, the past, old flame, nostalgic, family, legal matters. Wow. Generations, children, ancestors, origin, justice, divorce, balance, and judgment. I feel like somebody is trying to get it together. Somebody could have had like a court ordered, yeah, toxic relationship. Somebody could have had a court ordered, and look at this, codependent, fighting, misunderstanding, and trigger. It looks like these two have been fighting on each other though. I don't like that. They both have marks on their faces. What in the heck? So, I mean, this could literally be physical scars or it could be figurative scars that this person has left you with. I feel like somebody may be about to resurface. You could have a family with this person. Some of you could be in court for some reason. Or your person may have had like a court ordered, um, a court order to complete some kind of rehab or something like that. Or that could be you. I don't know. This could even be a family member. I feel like it's an ex-lover though that's about to reach out. Let's see what's going on with this. What's addictions in reverse? The Two of Pentacles. Somebody's finding more balance. They're adapting to change. Capricorn energy, your sister sign. One of the signs of addiction. We have the King of Swords and we have the Ten of Wands. I'm telling you, I feel like somebody had like a court order to complete some kind of program or something. Like it was the condition of their... I don't know, bail, their parole, or whatever it might be. Because I look at this as like the powers that be sometimes. Okay, now this is Archangel Michael as well with the Ten of Wands. For some of you, this has been like a some kind of ongoing battle that you've had with someone, like an uphill battle where someone just couldn't find balance, but I feel like they may be finding it. It could also be you. It doesn't have to be someone else. What else is going on here? One more card. So an Aquarius, a Sagittarius, or a Capricorn person, or you could just have these in your chart. Two of Wands. Somebody was stuck. Stuck in a rut is what I just heard. Somebody was not changing, even though they needed to change Aries energy. So I feel like somebody is adapting to changes now, but they were a little bit resistant to it before. Maybe they were a bit inflexible as this King of Swords, you know, somebody that just feels like they're smart and they got to figure it out and they don't need any help. So for some of you, this could be somebody that was struggling with addictions or yourself that nobody could get through to. Okay, but what's going on with this call? So there's a text message or some kind of communication coming in from, it looks like an ex or something. Six of Wands. This could be on social media, online that they reach out. Yeah. This could be an Aries or Leo person. Somebody is like admiring you. This actually might be a new person. This could be a twin flame. This might not be the same person. Let's see. Who's the six of wands? We got Leo and Aries here. You could be seeing the 1111. Oh, yeah. You're about to meet your person. I don't think it's the ex. I mean, if you want your ex back, you can claim that. But it looks like a Leo, a Pisces, or an Aries person that's about to DM you, message you some kind of way that actually wants a relationship with you. Like a serious relationship. Like this is the end all be all in love. Somebody that's not playing. Oh, yeah. Somebody might want you to move to be closer to them. They could be at a distance or maybe they're moving to be with you. They want you to leave a trauma bond and, and come into union with them. Or if it's your ex-lover, maybe they're cleaning their act up and this is what they want with you. I allow, you know, I'm not allowed because I'm not in a position to not allow. But I encourage my... Um, my viewers to choose what they want like if you want an ex person back very strong possibility if you want someone new 
very strong possibility. Whoever this person is, even if it is an ex, they're coming back in renewed energy. They've gotten themselves together, more disciplined. Isolation, the moon. Yeah. So, okay, Cancer Pisces energy with the fool. Some of you are expecting an ex, an Aquarius, a Cancer, or a Pisces. I feel this person is about to take a leap of faith in your direction. This is someone coming from the past. Someone you haven't been speaking to. Someone that's been miscommunication with, misunderstandings with, a lot of vagueness and not knowing where you two stand. They want to let you know where you stand. This is somebody that lets you know where you stand and values you, respects you. And maybe they had a lot on their plate. There were other things going on in this person's life that had nothing to do with you. There's some honest communication coming in, maybe. Did y'all get this message yesterday? Wait a minute. I got to remember what I talked about yesterday for the group that got that message. It might have been Libra. Let me look at my notes. Libra. It might have been Libra. I, I can't remember, y'all. For some reason, I feel like it was Libra. But it could have been you, Cancer. It doesn't matter. All I know is that there's someone here, I feel like, who has been kind of not speaking to you. Maybe they were even deceptive in the past. They're coming back. They want to bring you some flowers. <laughs> Show me more about this isolation. Some of you don't want to date anyone if it's not your ex. You want your ex back. Communication is coming in from somebody. And it looks like it's coming from the past. These wands are coming from the past. So this could be a Sagittarius. Yeah, somebody's about to shoot their shot. They're about to reach out over the next eight days for some of you. Oh my God, somebody that's reminiscing. This is an ex. So a Scorpio, a Sagittarius, an Aquarius, a Cancer, a Pisces. Ex-lover. This person may want to start a family with you. Justice, divorce, balance, and judgment. Maybe they want to compromise with you now where they didn't before. This is Libra energy. We have Virgo energy. And Scorpio here, Capricorn. Yeah, I'm going to read this last card. Yep, there's a full circle moment. I'm going to read both of these. And this is where we're going to end until, you know, I'll get some of these other things and then we'll be done. So, awakening, expansion. You have been receiving messages that it's time for your soul to expand beyond the 3D uh, vision. You are an old soul that is here to do many great things. You have come to realize this through doing the hard work and merging with your higher self. There is no going back. So enjoy this new way of being by having acceptance and inner peace moving forward. And then you have full circle. You have chosen to learn from your mistakes and move forward, closing out the cycle. Every layer of yourself you acknowledge is a layer that served its purpose. You are now feeling your power by seeing your inner strength and determination pay off. Be proud of this moment and let it carry you forward. For some of you, it is actually you that is overcoming this addiction here. For some of you, maybe you are setting your ways. You have some kind of either codependency or addiction of your own. For others of you, this is somebody else that finally is getting a handle on it. And it has not been easy. But this is a sense of achievement. Somebody could be completing some kind of program. I don't know why I keep saying that in my head, but I do. Somebody could be even away at some kind of facility or something, check themselves into rehab. But y'all know what I'm saying. Y'all get it, right? <laughs> Seven of Cups, the lovers. So if you are waiting for an ex, word from an ex, this could be a Scorpio or a Gemini person. This person is definitely reminiscing about you. And they're starting to realize here that they have to make a wise choice and you are their heart choice. Gemini energy again. Somebody regrets doing something to you. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Oh, y'all. Lord, my daggone tripod was falling. Let's try to get through the rest of this. So, yeah, they have regrets about something that they did. Hold on, y'all. Okay, my tripod was just doing what it wanted to do. Yeah, this is a person who has regrets, sleepless nights, worried about the connection with you. They fear that it's over, but I do feel a small gesture coming from this person. A message could just be a text message to test the waters with you, see if you're still interested. An apology. This represents an apology, and it's usually something from the heart, but it could be pretty small. Okay, maybe they don't know. They don't want to go full-fledged because they're like, they don't want to embarrass themselves. You know, maybe they feel like they already have. And they, they also wonder if you're going to just blow smoke up their butt because the Seven of Cups can talk about, like, letting somebody down easy. They want you to just be, like, honest with them. They want you to just be honest with them, okay? Even though I don't really know if they can take it. But this is somebody coming back around for a lot of you. Let's go ahead and pull some of these and see what's going on. Now, I dumped all these things out of this little container here. 
Because I'm like, we got to try something different. I'm tired of getting the same things. Oh, yeah, healing. I feel like somebody is healing from some kind of um, addiction. I really do. We got the last laugh. I feel like you get the last laugh because somebody has put their foot in their mouth. Somebody that sabotaged the connection. We have think before you act, I'm sure is what it says. Let's see. So some of you are, yeah, think before you add. So some of you are being very strategic about maybe taking an ex back, or this could be this person again, having second thoughts about reaching out to you. Somebody's being very strategic here about healing. Health, okay. So there's a focus on your health. Could be mental health with the nine of swords. You're moving to calmer waters. That's what I will tell you. And then we have music being significant for one reason or another. Yeah, only y'all know what that is. Okay. Um, I mean, the Page of Cups can be a, a musician. He's very creative, poetic, an artist. And you would technically be a Page of Cups because you're a water sign. So some of you are highly intuitive people and you also could be musically inclined. But those are the messages I have for you. Like the video for me, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you all the next time. Peace.